Well, I just want to speak to you a, a little bit about trigger moves. There are a number of different ways of doing this. Um, and it's generally to play the quick bowler to give you more time to be able to move back and forward. Or if it's swinging in or out quite a lot, that initial trigger movement just lets you wait that up a little bit longer so you can see the ball swing and react. But for me, the most effective trigger move is the one where you go back and across. So you'd be in your stance, bowlers come into bowl, just about to let go of the ball and you'd have gone here. So your weight shifts onto this back foot with your head and your chest over your front foot. So if the ball's pitched up on the offside, you can go again, get your foot across and play your shot. Let's have a look again. Back and across, weights onto the back foot, top half, head, chest over the front foot. I wait, see the line of the ball, adjust my foot accordingly, play the shot. If the ball is short, we'd go back and across, shift the weight back onto that foot, and then go back again and play the shot, drive, pull, hook, whatever it is. So you're in a good position to move backwards or forwards. If you move and do this trigger move, you're static when you land, you're already going to the offside, and if you look at those three cones in front of me, I've taken out of the equation playing straight, without, the only way I can do it is to play around the ball slightly. So I'm tipping to the offside, and I'm making hit, hitting straight very difficult. Vulnerable to LBW, bold, and consistently hitting the ball well down the ground. Basically, you're misaligned and you're off balance. So for me, the best trigger move, or the most effective one, is bowlers coming into bowl, they're just about to let go of the ball, you go there before they do, you wait to pick up the line, then you go forward, or you go back again and play the ball. That for me, gives you a great option of hitting straight. Back and across, see I've got this area here, where I'm still slightly open, head to wicket to wicket, I can come back into that and hit it straight, I can still flip the ball off my legs, but if I'm going like this, it's impossible to play straight. And I could get dragged into playing one outside of stump, but I am going to play around the ball or do this sort of thing. So, in my experience of coaching people to uh, introduce a trigger, the best trigger, most effective to give you good balance and alignment, is the one where you go back and across, wait for the ball come forward. Some people go straight back. Now the problem with that is if you go straight back your foot is not below your head so your head's starting to tip over and you will eventually tip over. You're also starting to get blocked off and you'll start playing away from your body here and here. If the ball straight back swings back into you again you're slightly blocked off and you're going to play around your front pad to ball straight or on your legs. If people were to go around the wicket and bowl short at you, go straight back, there's a blind spot there, hard to get at the ball, bad position to be in. You're back and across, you get open right behind it, full blade. Back and across also means on straight balls, you're, you're also going that way a lot, as opposed to lining up for that straight one. So again, this, I think some people can do it, hit around the ball, it's great on a flat wicket, when it's swinging around, high class bowling, the wicket's doing a bit, that's high risk. This also gets you static, st stuck in the crease. This one just means you're always playing this way or around your pad, it's not that easy to play straight. It's also, if you're too, back too straight, You'll get two sideways, very hard to play. So back and across, and there are different ways of doing it. Some people might stand with their feet close together, in which case they might take a slightly deeper step back and across. Some people stand with their feet wide, in which case they might only take a little step. But you've got to be on the pads of your feet, the balls of your feet, knees slightly bent, and be prepared to go back or forward, be in a ready position there with head, chest forward of the front pad, back and across, back, back and across, offside, back and across. So when you land that front foot, 
it's relative to the line of the ball. The ball's not being bowled. I've already got my foot in a bad position. Food for thought on which tr trigger you may prefer. But give the back and the cross one a try. But just make, make sure when you are doing it, you're trying to keep your head wicket to wicket. So your foot goes slightly outside the line of your head so you stay balanced. When it goes straight back, your head's over and you tend to tip over. Hope that's helpful. Try it out. See how you get on.